In this tutorial, we will continue with the Sketchbase Features Toolbar and we will see how the rib works. How engineers do it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Rib command works by running a profile through our guide curve. So in this case, let's first create a profile and then we will create a plane. So in order to create a plane, firstly we'll go for the plane, I'll show it again, click on the plane, click on the line, click on this point here, and click on OK. More about planes will be, will be taught when, you, when I teach you about uh, the wireframe and surface design. As of now, this much information about the plane will be sufficient. Now. Let's get into this workbench, get into this sketch, invert it, and go for the circle, and go inside the circle, that's not what I meant. Select this point and the center, and go for coincidence, exit the sketch, and now you could try doing the rib. Click on the rib, select this as a profile, and this as a center curve, and you can see our rib is created. So that's about the rib. Rib simply runs a profile and creates a solid object. Similarly, if you Yeah, if you create this plane, then go for this plane and create a circle, and select the point and the center point, coincide, exit the sketch, and then instead of going for the rib. Let's go for the groove and see what happens. By saying groove, I mean slot. Sorry about that. Now let's go for the profile. Go for the center curve. And in this case, the sketch runs through the solid objects and create a hollow. Click on OK. And you can see, then instead of creating a solid object, creates a solid hollow. Now there is an interesting tool which is coming up next that is the solid combine. So let's try that in a new part. So solid combine simply com combines your sketch. For example, we need to have two sketches. So I'll Create the first sketch. I've made the first sketch here. Now I'll come to the top view. Now let's make a top view of it. Now let's just delete this horizontal option. Let's 
So let's come out and see how these two sketches are combined. So for the solid combine, select these two sketches. And if you click on OK, the two sketches are combined and the common solid is being displayed. That's about the solid combine. And let's see the remaining two options in the next coming tutorial. Thank you.